Ekvall Show presenteras av Leo Vega Sport. Ekvall Show. Vill han så kan han. Patrik Ekvall. Idag så ska vi gå lite internationellt. Tänk att jag tror att de flesta av er någon gång har drömt om att kanske bli världsberömd exempelvis som fotbollsspelare. Det tror väldigt många har gjort. Killar som tjejer. Men kanske inte genom att detta är en paj. Det var det, det här den här killen gjorde som jag här ikväll. Hela världen pratade om Pygate och vi har tagit hit honom hela vägen från Southampton. Och han flankeras av en svensk för detta supermålvakt. Det här blir väldigt intressant. Och ni här? Och ni där hemma? Välkomna in i värmen. Tänk att det kunde bli ett sånt himla halabaloo för att en kille käkade en paj mitt under en fotbollsmatch som slutade med lite tråkigheter. Han blev avstängd från sitt jobb och han har inte fått något nytt sen dess. Men vi var ju schyssta nog att plocka hit honom. För här är han hela vägen ifrån Saab 15 i England. Mina damer och herrar, Wayne Shaw! Wayne! Welcome. 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 Have a seat, I'm fine. Thank you. Wayne Shaw, mina damer och herrar. Well, Wayne, you're not really fluid in Swedish, I believe. I'm sorry, I'm not. Not, no. So we will conduct this in English. I hope it will be good. good. Uh, uh, welcome to Sweden. Thank you. First time here? Uh, second. Ah. Yeah. Gothia Cup in 1985. We've all been to Gothia <laughs> Cup. We've all been to Gothia Cup. Yeah, we've all been to Gothia Cup. Tell me, what happened, really? Um, I've had 32 years. Who's at all the pies? And I thought, what better way to go out than uh, eat a pie? <laughs> Which is uh, a pie, is a bit of a kidney pie kind of... Yeah, yeah, it. steak, steak. Yeah, pie. because yeah. we don't eat that in s- shit in Sweden. <laughs> no, 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 we do not. But we've seen the pictures, uh, and we might see them again, I think, just to get to know what happened during this match between yeah. Sutton United and Arsenal in the fifth round of the a- FA Cup. So that's how we do it. This 3G pitch, he takes the bookings. Här är han på reservbänken och här trycker han i sig uh, sin uh, paj uh, i pausen på matchen. Sl- uh, det här är jag exakt. Ja, uh. titta. Men det är så här att Wayne Shaw där, det, det är lätt att skratta åt det. Han är ju ganska bra målvakt. I said you're a pretty decent keeper. Look! And who, who, who is kicking it? It was uh, Ian Wright. Ian Wright, the former player, yeah. yeah. And a couple of good saves. Uh, so you were the reserve goalkeeper of Sutton United. You you really you you were so within the club that you worked at the club. You slept a couple of days at the ground. Yep. And you were the reserve <coughs> keeper and the goalkeeper and coach when you played Arsenal in the FA Cup, which was a big thing for Sutton United, of yeah, course. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And what you did is that you had a pie, uh, which we saw at the pictures, and some people to- said that this was something else like what a uh, bet a bet yeah which it wasn't or no no it definitely wasn't no you just had the pie and yeah yeah there was um there was odds why do you eat a pie during a football match oh uh, I, i've had pies thrown at me and i've uh, i've taken a bite chucked them back because it wasn't the right flavor okay <laughs> <laughs> all right uh, and what happened after that is that you um got banned yeah um the fa investigated and they tried to uh, get me on spot fixing, yes. um, saying that I told people to bet, but I didn't. Um, they had all my phone records, my bank statements, nothing on me. Um, but then five months later, they brought a different charge against me of um, intentionally influence a betting market. Okay. So which then I had to go back and uh, all my evidence was obviously on spot fixing. Um, and they had nothing on me, but it's funny how five months down the line that they brought something totally different against me. So, so you were banned from all football? All football related for two months. Yes. 
350, uh, 375 pounds fine. H how much did you earn a month when you were playing at that um, I, I earned about 1,800 pounds a month. Okay, so it was quite a heavy ban for you. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, I, I lost my job as well at yeah. Sutton. Why yeah. was that? Well, they why, did they kick, why did they kick, they out, kick you out? They, they thought it was a betting scam, and, but it was all, all done via um, a newspaper. Um, there was an ad in the newspaper saying eight to one to eat a pie. And uh, like I say, I just thought it was a bit of fun. 72 people placed a bet around the country. Um, and like I say, they, uh, the football club said we're, um, they didn't know at the time, um, but this is the next day that they like, either sacked me or I resigned. Which was harsh. I felt so, um, yeah. because obviously, you know, I being the high jinx and a bit of fun, and they say you've got to be mad to be a goalkeeper, but it does help. Yeah, <laughs> we know all about that. We know all about that. Um, and like I say, it's just a bit of fun, and you know what a great occasion um, for the football club. And again, it was about the players. It wasn't about me, really. And you got well known all over the world. Yeah, it went viral. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can tell. Have any, and you're here now. Yeah, I just start. When, I mean, love it in Sweden. But but anything in specific that happened from from people around the world? Um, Piers Morgan. Yeah. Um, he he paid. Part of the fine. Okay. Um, part of the fine. Yeah, three hundred and seventy-five pound. But he only p paid part of the fine. Yeah. So, but that was. He's good. greedy. He, that was guy, good. That was this good. This guy obviously. earns millions a year. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but he only paid part. Yeah, he he he, he made a gesture, which was I, I felt was um, quite good. H how much is was left after he paid? Um, I still had another six hundred pounds to uh, pay. Six hundred pounds. Yeah, because I had a five hundred pound cost and a hundred pound for the hearing because I went for a hearing. Um, to the FA okay. at Wembley. Tell you what, I'll stick you the six hundred pounds for me. No problem. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, no problem. <laughs> Might be. I don't have it in the pocket. But I'll give you the six hundred pounds. I'll give you the six hundred pounds. Patrick, thank yeah, you. Yeah, no problem at all. No problem at all. But being well known all over the world, was it fun or was it a bit sad? Um, I, I was sad losing my job yeah. um, because football's been a big part of my life. Um, and I, I really enjoyed what I'd done at Sutton. Uh, and to be tied, taking the rug away from you, really, pulling it from under your feet. And it just went down a stage where I was, I, I lost interest in football yeah. straight away afterwards. Um, but again, like you say, it thrust me in the limelight. Um, and they built me up and then they just took me out. That's sad, really. Um, listen, we do have another guest here, a former goalkeeper, uh, or Swedish goalkeeper, a, a great guy. And I would like to welcome him now. And his name is, of course, Rami Shaban. Welcome in, Rami. <laughs> and we will conduct this in English, of course, so uh, that Wayne does understand what we say. Perfect. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's not a problem for you, but no. you played in Arsenal for a couple of years and you picked up some English, didn't you? Some English. Some English. Yeah. When you hear about this story, what do you think about it? I think it's sad. I mean, uh, it was a funny thing. I have seen a lot of funny things uh, happen in Arsenal as well. Uh, but uh, this is too extreme, I think. Uh, like uh, Wayne said, uh, losing his job is like, that's the stability. And then the football comes, secondly. Yeah. So uh, you, uh, you have a family, you have kids? Yeah, two girls, 19 and 17, and obviously a mortgage to pay. Yeah. Um, and obviously I couldn't, I haven't been working for probably seven months. And then I took a job with my local football team doing the commercial side. So, and that's only really on 20% um, of what I, what mm. I, I bring in. So, um, you know, it's hard, but I'm enjoying it. It's a, it's a new challenge for me and I've diversified by... Um, getting myself a hog roast business and doing catering, food and beverage. So I'm on sale one, drink two and eat two. <laughs> 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 uh, if you look upon it, there is, of course, a lot of scandals in football nowadays. But this is not a scandal. This is just a funny thing, as, as I said. Would you say you, they were going for you at you because you made the, the headlines? Um, I, th I think the FA, have, um, they've acted how they had to act. Um, whether it's right or wrong, everyone knows. No, 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 they were assholes. 
<laughs> uh, I'll leave you to say that, yeah, not yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> not a problem for me. <laughs> so, yeah, and it's just one of them where, you know, it, it's time to draw a line under it and, and yeah. crack on. But, yeah, I, I, I'm not going to disagree with you. När vi är tillbaka efter reklamen, då ska vi prata mer med Wayne och givetvis med Rami. Och det kan kanske komma in lite käk här också. Nu fattar inte han vad vi säger här. Det är som är lite roligt för vi ska bjuda på lite svensk käk och se vad han tycker om det. Vi är tillbaka om en liten stund. Häng med. Ekvall Show presenteras av Leo Vega Sport. Mycket varmt välkomna ska ni vara tillbaka till Ekvall Show. Vi har fint besök här idag på teatern. Rami Schaban och Wayne Shaw. And Wayne said before, Rami, that you have to be a little bit crazy to be a goalkeeper. Uh, read Thomas Ravelli. Uh, but I don't know, you're not that crazy, are you? I don't think so. You're, you're quite honest. normal. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> but I had a few colleagues that was a bit crazy. Very crazy, yeah. I would say. A German one, especially. <laughs> the German ones. Yeah, yeah they're all Jens crazy. Jens Lehmann was yeah, yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but he was a fantastic guy. But on, on the pitch, he was a bit... But why is it that goalkeepers tend to be a little bit special? I think because we, we are a bit... Uh, we train aside at uh, the training ground. We are like we have 45, 50 minutes for ourselves. <laughs> Then we go in to training with the rest of the team, and it's a goalkeeping union. It's said so many times, and I think that's part of it. Well, um, Wayne here um, just didn't just not just eat the pie. You had a couple of problems before with people being. Uh, picking on you because of your weight. And in Kingstonian once, which is a, is, a, is an English page, what happened there? Oh, it's just a, a what happened an there? altercation. Um, yeah. You know, people pay their money. They're, uh, they're entitled to an opinion, but when it gets personal, it does hurt. Because touch a people nerve. at the ground scream something that, well, never mind. <laughs> and what did you do? Uh, I reacted. Yes. Uh, <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> I uh, put it politely. I just said uh, you wouldn't say that if you were out on the street. So, and then no, then you went up to the ground and you headbutted the guy. No, I didn't. It wasn't a headbutt. I was nearby. No, never. <laughs> but you were there. If it was a headbutt, he wouldn't but be you, here today. But you, you, you ran headbutt. up uh, to the stands. I actually jumped, jumped over, jumped, yeah, jumped, yeah, jumped yeah, yeah. and that yeah. was quite good for me. Yeah. yeah okay. <laughs> <laughs> Quick feet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But uh, like I say, it wasn't a. It wasn't a headbutt at all. It was a confrontation, um, a coming together. I love the word confrontation. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, still, you, you told him this is, there is, you have to draw a line. Yeah, I, I believe so. Uh, would, you, would you say if you go to football today, you can hear a lot of shit? Yeah, I know. I have heard a lot of shit about me as well. <laughs> yeah. Would you say uh, it's good to draw a line? Some, maybe not the way Wayne did it, <laughs> but, but it, in, in some way, or just accept It's, it has been on going on for so long. I mean, I have been with my kids in the stands and I hear the abuse. Yeah. It made me like, I don't want my kids to hear this stuff. No. And uh, then obviously something is wrong. Uh, so I don't take my kids, unfortunately, uh, to a few games here in Sweden as well. It's common everywhere in the world. Uh, so, uh, of course, it's not good. Uh, and... Uh, i think uh, the Swedish law is a bit lame, to be honest, as well, when it comes to having masks on. It's yeah. just ban them, and that's it. In England, they are a bit harder. If you enter the pitch, you're gone. Yeah. Uh, here in Sweden, we are a bit lame. Vi ska ha en liten tävling här som jag alltid har. Do you know Frank Andersson, the former wrestler? Yeah. You do? Yeah. Great to know. Here he is. Tjenare, Frank här. Svara på min fråga från det här avsnittet av Ekvalls show och du är med i uttalningen av mobiltelefoner och en fotbollsresa till England för två personer. Lycka till! Gå in och tävla. Gör det gärna så snart som möjligt så ni känns att vinna de här fina priserna. Well, you had a pie. We don't eat that shit as I said. Kidney pies and stuff in Sweden. We, don't, we have other uh, meals here. Uh, typical Swedish dishes. And now I would like you to taste a few dishes, if you, still, if you will continue playing football, you might have them instead. 
uh, at halftime. Uh, it's, it's a free, very Swedish dishes, and I think Wilma will be here uh, with the dishes uh, for you to be uh, to be served. Har vi uh, några rätter där i bakgrunden någonstans som vi kan servera? Titta, där kommer vi Wilma. Här är Wilma. Thank you very much. Tack Wilma. Tack så mycket. Okej, okay, here we go. We have a damsugare, um, a, 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 a dust sucker. We'll we'll it's it's really good. Like that. Yeah, it's a vacuum cleaner. Yes, that's yeah. great. Uh, 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 Kalles kaviar on knäckebröd. It's a great one. Good and a very Swedish dish is a hot dog with rek salad with shrimp salad and, and bread. Yeah. Just one bite would be enough. I think you like the sausage. Sausage. Yeah. yeah. Uh, go ahead. Bite of each one. St one of each. And see what you think. The push Tucker trial. What was that? Push Tucker trial. I didn't understand that. Kallas caviar. Knäcke bröd. <laughs> it's a bit special, yeah? It's fish. <laughs> 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 yeah, I know. <laughs> I might need your water. <laughs> uh, Rek salad and uh, hot dog. Oh, it's shrimp salad. It's good. Mm. That was nice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and just ended up with the, mm. with the uh, vacuum. vacuum cleaner. <laughs> I'm sorry, my chin. It's okay. The it's third one. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> the vacuum cleaner is good. But okay, hmm. that was a bit of a test. <laughs> so if you have to choose one for at halftime. Oh, the sausage? Yeah, sausage. With shrimp salad. Mm. Yeah, I would bet on yeah, that. Lovely. Yeah. Mm. Okay, you didn't like you the cal- Eight to one. <laughs> yeah, eight to one. <laughs> eight to one. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't like the callous caviar? No. No. It's fish. You know. yeah. It's too good Swedish. It's, um, it's, it's very flavorsome. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can tell. Listen, after you've been fired, you get offered jobs. One job was being a Pie taster at a at a supermarket. It's <laughs> <laughs> correct. Mm. You didn't get it, or no? I didn't. I didn't pursue that one because um, I'd eaten enough pies. <laughs> <laughs> but you said you, you don't have a job now. You were working as a goalkeeping coach in Sutton United, and you had, of course, a little bit of a. a, a, a you get got paid to being reserve goalkeeper, and after that you were thrown out, and now you don't have a job and a family to to support. So, so how has things been? Um, it's been been testing. Obviously, um, depression has come into it. Mm -hmm. um, well, I've suffered with depression, and I went down the route of not wanting to go out and uh -huh. just real lows, not sleeping. But I pulled it around, turned it into a positive, and I'm looking forward to the future. It's horrible. I mean, not looking up to the future, but the future. But <laughs> but, but 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 what you've been through. Yeah, definitely. I wouldn't. I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. Um, you know, like I said, football is highs and lows, and I believe, you know, if we lose on a Saturday, we don't want to be seen. We don't want to go out, do it. With, you know, and we have got families. As you get older, it's a little bit different. Um, but again, the the highs and lows of it. Um, and it's, it just it's, takes, it's a bit takes tougher in time. England, isn't it, uh, Rami? Yeah, than, definitely. Than here. Yeah, I was unemployed in England as well. Uh, after I left uh, Arsenal for yeah. a while. It's hard. I mean, I was a bit naive and uh, went through uh, a tough time, but nothing to compare to you. But uh, I know how it is to waking up in the morning. I don't know what to do. Uh, my reaction was I need to go out and run or go to the gym. Yeah. That's my reaction when I... I I'm not sure Wayne did I'm that. not <laughs> sure either. <laughs> they do a good breakfast at my yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, but it's not nice to hear your story, obviously. It's hard. I mean, uh, and in England, I don't think uh, the welfare is the same as here in Sweden, no. uh, where we take care of each other. And, and what Wayne did, uh, he, wasn't e he wasn't losing a game. I mean, he didn't make a mistake in the pitch. He ate the bloody pie yeah. uh, at halftime. That's what he did, and it was headlines all over the world, and it ended up with people laughing, of course, and we can sit around and we can laugh, because it's a bit of a fun, in a way, but on the other hand, it's sad. Yeah, of course. I mean, uh, yeah, I read the story as well, and I thought it was fun, to be honest, but I didn't know the story behind it. No. I mean, uh, with uh, hearing your story, it's very sad, 
Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, from eating that to ending up unemployed, it's, yeah. it's tough. I think football's a working class citizen's game. And, you know, people go and have a pie and a pint before a game or they, you know, mm -hmm. it was just during bringing a little bit of normality back to, to the football. You know, yeah. you're, you're yes. on a pitch with, you know, them players and yeah. they're, they're, they're up there. You can't get there. Non-league, we're, where we're at is, you know, no disrespect. It, it's, they are full-time people and stuff going on the level we're at. But, you know, sometimes you get called a pub side. Yeah, and that's the thing with the FA Cup as well or the English Cups. It's yeah. like, that's part of it. I mean, that's the that what's built the cup, the yeah. traditions and everything. It's to the glamour, isn't it? The glamour of yeah, to build a non-league, you know. Yeah. Help the lower league teams to yeah. support and money-wise. And Tell you what, Wayne. I thought you did a good thing for football. And I think it's really sad that, uh, that the FA assholes uh, <laughs> find you. And, and I'm very happy that you had the chance to come here into Sweden and, and, and talk with um, our viewers and, and uh, the lovely crowd here at the, the, the Players Theatre. I'm happy that, uh, yeah. Thank you. I'm, uh, I'm really happy having uh, Ramit here to support you, yeah, and I wish, I wish you all the luck uh, in the future. I hope you get a good job uh, in, in a good team. Otherwise, we might get you a job in a Swedish team, in a, in a, in a, in a semi-pro team, maybe like El Gito or something. I don't know. <laughs> all right? Thank, thank you very much, Wayne. Thank, thank you, you very much, Ramit, you. for being thank here. När vi är tillbaka med uh, Ekvall Show så uh, är det om en vecka och då hoppas jag att ni vill vara med oss. Ekvall Show presenteras av Leo Vega Sport.